Okay, we're going to look at polygons versus polylines using Adobe Illustrator. This is the pen tool. We use the pen tool to make polylines or polygons. If I, and you'll notice here at the top, this is a polyline. It has more than one line connected at more than one vector point. You can have straight polylines, straight, ang straight angles or hard angles, or you can have curved polylines. This is a polygon. You can see that it's a completely enclosed polygon. And here we have a curved polygon. Polyline. I click and I click and I click and I click and that is a polyline. If I want it to be curved, I click, step back, hold down the, uh, uh, the command key, and it will deselect that polygon, polyline. I click, I click, and I click, and now I have a curved polyline. Hold down the command key and deselect it. If I want a polygon, I click, I click, I click, click, and You'll see the little zero that comes up next to the to the pen tool. That means I have finished the shape, and it's now a polygon and no longer a polyline. If I uh, hold down the command key to deselect, if I want a curved shape, I click and hold, click and hold. This gives me the curve handles, also called Bezier handles, and I now have a curved polygon. Notice here at the bottom of the toolbar, you have two squares. If you come over to your color palette, you'll see the same two squares. Whichever one of these is in front is the option that you're choosing. I will choose my curved polygon. I will select that. Now I will come and I will give it a green line. I will make that go to stroke and make that green line very thick. I come back and select my color palette and I select the solid square in the back. Now my solid square is in front and I can select a red fill. With my polygon selected I now have a red fill with a green line. If I want it to be hollow I can select the square that says none on the color scale and now it's hollow. If I move the other polygon over this first one you'll see that you can see through my hollow polygon here. That's polyline and polygon and the basic use of the pen tool.